Today I'm making a very soft and delicious sandwich bread. I am using the Yudane technique. Many of you have seen and tried my recipe for sourdough tanks on bread, which is a very soft and fluffy bread. The Yudane technique is very similar to the Tang Song technique. Both techniques use pre-cooked dough to make the bread softer, chewy, and fluffy. The main difference is that in the Tang Song technique, we use a pre-cooked portion of the dough with water at medium temperature. And with the Yudane technique, we scald the flour with hot boiling water. The ratios of Tang Song and Yudane are different in both recipes. Both methods cause the starch to gelatinize and will help you to achieve that softness of your bread. It will also keep your bread fresher in the end. So, here's my recipe of this delicious bread. To start, make the yurane or water roux by combining 60 grams or half a cup of bread flour with 60 grams or a quarter of a cup of hot boiling water. Mix with a silicone spatula until the ingredients are well incorporated and you have a very cohesive dough. Place the yudane to the side to cool off. In the meantime, make a stiff starter or levan. Combine 30 grams or one tablespoon of sourdough starter with 30 grams or two tablespoons of water. Add 60 grams or half a cup of bread flour and mix the ingredients with a silicone spatula. Then, use your hands to incorporate all the ingredients well. Knead the dough on your working table until it is well incorporated and place it in a covered jar. Let it proof in a warm place for at least 4 hours or until it doubles in size. Now, cover the yudane with a lid and bring it to the fridge for at least 4 hours to let the starch in the flour gelatinize. After the resting period, start your dough. Pour 125 grams or half a cup of milk into a bowl. Add 50 grams or one large egg at room temperature. 45 grams or a quarter of a cup of sugar. And six grams or one teaspoon of salt. Use a dough whisk to quickly mix all the ingredients. Add 45 grams or three tablespoons of butter at room temperature, cut into pieces. Mix the ingredients again, then add the yudane and the stiff sourdough starter or levan that you prepared before. Mix all the ingredients to start dissolving the yudane and the starter in the mix. Then little by little, add 300 grams or two cups of bread flour. Combine all the ingredients with your dough whisk and then use your hands to incorporate the dough well. Take the dough out of the bowl and start kneading it smoothly on your working table. If your dough starts getting sticky, don't add more flour. Just pick it up and extend it to help the gluten develop and then knead it again on your working table. Knead the dough for about 20 minutes until it is soft and elastic. Check the dough elasticity and if you can stretch the dough without breaking it, that means the gluten is well developed and your dough is ready to rise. So place the dough in a grease bowl. Cover it with a plastic wrap and let it proof in a warm place until it doubles in size. 
or you can place it in the fridge overnight to prove like I am doing it. The next morning, take the dough out of the fridge and place it on your working table. Press it with both hands to take the gas out. Then, stretch the extremes of the dough out and fold them back into the center of the dough to create a bowl. Flip the dough around and rotate it on itself to add tension. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, form a cylinder out of your dough, rolling the dough with your hands to create a cylinder shape. Roll until your dough is the length of your loaf pan. Place the dough seam side up in a square shaped loaf pan. Mine is 8 by 4 by 4 inches or 20 by 10 by 10 centimeters. Place the cover on top and let the bread proof in a warm place. I am proofing my bread in my bread proofer at 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius for about 4 hours or until the dough reaches the rim of the loaf pan. When your bread has risen, Place it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, remove the lid of the loaf pan and let the bread bake for another 5 minutes. Take your bread out of the oven and place it on a cooling rack. The bread should easily come out of the loaf pan. Let it cool for at least 30 minutes before slicing it. This bread is very soft and fluffy. It tears apart easily due to its softness. I hope you can try this recipe. I know you will love it. I really hope you get to try this bread. This bread is very easy to make and very delicious. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Make sure to check out all my recipes here on my YouTube channel and on my website. Thank you for watching.